was pregnant with Carly's grandchild when she pushed me down the stairs at my own baby shower. You know, they should have hauled her off to prison, but instead they took her to Ferncliff. Of course. Nell Benson. Mm -hmm. I was in the room next to Carly's. I used to eavesdrop on her sessions with my brother. It was unbearably tedious, but ultimately very useful. I learned a lot about how to impersonate a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had a lot to say about you. Mm. None of it complimentary, I'm afraid. You know, all I ever did was love her son, Michael. Once for a while, he loved me too, but she poisoned him against me to the point where he entrapped me and I was falsely accused of trying to kill him. You poor thing. You mentioned you were pregnant. What became of the baby? I never stood a chance. Michael's whole family was against me. They would have taken my son the moment he was born. That's terrible. You know, and then when Ava turned on me. Ava? Ava Jerome? Uh -huh. I worked for her in her gallery. You know, we, were, we were close for a while. She's smart. Beautiful and, and has amazing taste, you know, which of course made it all the more hurtful when she betrayed me. Hmm. Sadly, she betrayed me too. Ava. She's like a falcon living among pigeons, a hunter trying to deny her nature. You know, if she would embrace her gifts, she could be free and fearless. I tried to show her, but in the end, she turned on me. You must hate her. Oh, I could never hate Ava. Never. Terrible feeling, isn't it? Being trapped in here, knowing the people on the outside who look down on you, who treated you like you were defective. They're out there telling themselves that they won. Humiliation is the least of it. The people who did this to me literally took a piece of me. Your hand? Worse. They drugged me, forged my consent, and stole one of my organs. Not your kidney. Yes. Why? <sighs> See for yourself. My kidney was stolen, too. only cares about her daughter. Jocelyn's healthy and strong, never mind that it's my kidney keeping her that way. You know, she has no gratitude, no loyalty. She's just, she's the worst kind of user. That's how these people operate. Hiding behind the respectability that's been bought and paid for while they use the rest of us for spare parts. Still, something about this doesn't just feel like a coincidence. What do you mean? Both of us here, robbed of our freedom, robbed of a kidney. Oh. It's like fate brought us here, as if we're supposed to help each other. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I have a sense for these things. And I sense that we're going to be very important to one another. <laughs>